What's up, girl? How we doing? Good. Good. So how do you feel? I know last week you were you were embracing you were embracing the game. We talked to you last week. You were mm -hmm. like, I'm ready for it. I'm here. How does it feel to, to get that win? Uh, it's good. You know, it's good. But I think just we're at the point where we already moved on. You know, because it's it's another big game. It's another game with with similar implications. Um, we know that. Um, the 49ers know that. And you know it's it's going to be a clash of the Titans, so I, I'm excited for the opportunity to go out there and compete against a really good football team. Well, how do you do that? Like, you had so much energy, you came in with mm -hmm. you were so excited. How do you avoid having you know, a letdown? This week? That might not be the right word. Yeah, nah, it's it's the exact right word because you know it's it's hard for people to be consistent with their energy week in and week out. And, you know, you see letdowns, uh, games here and there, but um, for us, I think. We have great leaders on this team, you know, and we have a great head coach who's each and every day letting us know what we have to do to accomplish, what we have to accomplish each day so that we can get closer um, to being ready for the game and going out there and playing our best football on Sunday. Mm -hmm. How you feeling about as far as, I know a lot of times you get sent on the fire business and Pete's like he started to, you know, heat up the quarterback a little bit later <laughs> on the episode of the second half of the game. But yeah. Like, what, what's that like, man? Because I know a lot of times a lot of guys get caught up with as to whether or not to come in high. Yeah. You know, when you try to knock the ball down or yeah. kind of go low. Yeah. Like what, what goes through your mind when you, when you, when you, get the, you see the open opportunity yeah. to, to put, put it on the quarterback? I think it's, it's a feel. I think it's a feel to where the quarterback is in his progression. I think um, if you're there maybe a little late um, and you know you're not going to get there, maybe that's when you know put the hands up and just trying to you know distract them a little bit or maybe you know tip the ball. But you know sometimes when you time that thing up right and the quarterback get the ball and you already running through that gap, you know I had time to light them up. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Did you see the pro progression like when you first came on with DMPs? Obviously, you haven't seen mm -hmm. it before. Mm -hmm. Did you see where you all now, like when when y'all first started things mm -hmm. like the training camp? Did you see that? Did you see where y'all are now happening? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, the thing is, you know, when you when you come into a new system, you know, you got a new head coach, new defensive coordinator. Um, sometimes you got to unlearn things to learn things. You know, you're so. Uh, trained to do things a certain way but you know when defenses are different um it just takes time you know um things have to become uh second nature or habits and that's what we're creating and um i knew we had the talent i knew we had the pieces but sometimes you know it just it takes time and it, it, it has taken time and you know some of us like it might have took too long but i mean we're at a position right now where we're playing meaningful games in december and we truly believe our best football as a defense and even as a, a team it's still out there for us to accomplish. When you face a quarterback in uh, Ruffalo, what are some things you notice about him that maybe other uh, players and us sometimes may not see? Uh, well, I say the first thing, he has great touch on the football. I mean, when you see his deep balls and uh, just like intermediate throws that, you know, kind of go over the second level and just like um, the second level and just drop into a receiver's hands, like it's, it's phenomenal. It's, it's like one of the best, he has one of the best touch uh, on the footballs in the game. Um, then, you know, he's a veteran guy. You know, he he knows their offense. He knows what they're trying to accomplish. And he does a good job of running the offense uh, for the 49ers. And when he plays well, um, the team plays well. So he knows that. And I'm um, looking forward to going out there and, and competing against him. And also, um, you, talk about, you talk about Garoppolo. Uh, he, got, he has a guy he likes to throw to deep sometimes as Samuel. Mm -hmm. um, what have you noticed in this game? Um, I'm not asking for a schematic. Like, yeah. You guys kind of. Make sure that you just alert like he wants to go there. Oh, yeah, I think we just got to alert where Debo is. I mean, Debo is one of the most excited football players um, in the league. I mean, he'll take a, a screen for 80, you know, he'll run deep and then he'll catch it. Like, then he'll get a toss and then he'll go up the sideline for 50. So, I mean, they do a good job of just putting the ball in his hand because he's just a, a natural playmaker. Um, and every play he's out there, we got to – identify where he is, if he's in the backfield, if he's in the slot, if he's outside, and, and just know where he is and where they ch like to get him the ball from that point. Huh? Without a doubt, you know, <laughs> they're, they're similar, but uh, at the end of the day, I'll, I'll, I'll take CP. Did you want to change any just with Jalen next to you as mm -hmm. opposed to Eric, just because of the experience factor, do you uh -huh. feel like you have to talk more, do more, whatever it might be? 
Uh, no, because I think uh, Hawk has a, a great understanding of what we're trying to accomplish on defense. And I think, you know, the coaches have done a good job of, you know, um, just getting him in there throughout the year. You know, there's been times where, you know, he gets a series for me, he gets a series for Eric. And, you know, as a coaching staff, and as a team, you do that for situations like this. So, like, if somebody, one of the guys go down, you have a guy who's been out there, who knows what to do, who's been in the fire. And it's really like uh, no, 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 no sudden change, like no big change now. Is he Eric? No, because Eric, you know, he's played football for a long time. But I think we'll still be able to go out there and, and get accomplished um, what we want to accomplish. And uh, he'll have a great understanding of what we're trying to do. Can you run the whole defense Huck. that you've been running with, with him there? Assistant? Without a doubt, because when, when he goes in there, the defense doesn't change. Yeah, you know, Dean, Dean doesn't say, well, Hawk's in there. We're only going to do this. We're not going to do that. Nah, the defense is the defense. And he's done a good job. A great job when he's in there, going in there and making plays. He got some interceptions, he got some PBUs, some great tackles. So um, obviously we're going to miss Eric because the leadership and, and the veteran presence that he had, um, it will be missed. But I think Hawk is in a good position and a good place to go out there and go play some good football. And we will be able to rely on him and, and keep this train running the right way. Like I said, I mean, just his veteran leadership, his calmness, you know, um, He's a great teammate, you know, he goes out there, he always does, every, does everything the right way. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to miss him. But, I mean, that's the NFL, you know, injuries happen. Um, Eric's going to be around. He's going to be giving us, you know, so that veteran leadership from the side. Um, so we're going to have to lean on him that way. But, you know, the, the show has to go on and we have to move forward and we have to get ready for a tough opponent in the 49ers this Sunday. No, nah, no, no conversation. No conversation needed because at the moment, you know, we're in the midst of a game. We're still trying to win. I think that happened. Who was that? First quarter? First quarter or something like that. So it was so much that, you know, we just had to be focused on. And, you know, we, we seen him at halftime and, you know, we said what we said. But, you know, we had to do everything we can to get a win. And it's, it's the same same mindset this week. What do you feel the difference is in the past couple weeks you guys been able to get in the end zone? Like mm -hmm. you said, been able to get home to get to the quarterback. Mm -hmm. What do you feel the difference has been just as a I just think just reps, you know, reps, um, just over and over, um, running our stuff, um, seeing the mistakes, learning from them. Um, and then, you know, with those same situations coming up, um, we're improving, you know. So I just think just constant reps, um, constant improvement, and God just really just putting in the work to try to make it work, you know. And, and that's where we're headed. And that's why, like I said, I really think our best football head is still, you know, our best football is still ahead of us. Yes. How, how do you feel like this defense has kind of taken steps in, in terms of just like doing that? Yeah, for sure. I think just from an awareness standpoint, you know, we're understanding where people are trying to attack us. So we're aware, like, all right, you know, this team is going to try to attack us and this defense is going to try to attack us this place. Uh, so now, okay, we're seeing, okay, this is where they want to attack us. We're prepared for it and we're not letting them do it. You know, um, awareness on like third and third down, like, um, you know, just awareness, awareness and understanding and just constant improvement. So I think when you have all of those together, um, you have no choice but to take a step um, in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be it's, it's going to be tough. You know, obviously his veteran leadership, um, his play, um, his personality, just everything that Eric uh, brought to the table. And it, it won't just be, you know, just one guy um, that replaces what he do. Um, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be multiple guys. But um, we have full faith in, you know, in Jalen and Richie and Sean to go out there and, you know, do their job at a high level and just not have this defense miss a beat. And what are some of the cues to stop and share the hands off the ball that misdirection? Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, being disciplined, staying in your gaps, um, reading your keys. Because like you said, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors, a lot of misdirection this way. And, you know, that's where they really get people. You know, they see this jet sweep going this way. Then, you know, they're looking over here, but then they're bringing the tight end back and the running back and they're running over here. And then they're gashing you for, you know, 15, 20. And then when you get a guy like Debo Samuel, you know, up free 15 yards, you know, it's, it's hard to stop that guy. So we've got to be sound in our gaps. Um, Got to be sound in our coverage um, and just making sure everybody's getting to the ball and, and tackling because they have some very, very dynamic players um, when they get the ball in their hands. Thank you. I'm working ahead a little bit. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> Don't get me in trouble. All right. All right. All right. What we, do, what right? we got? That's these rules. What we got? Uh, what do you remember about the game against the Pelicans last year? We uh, of course, the, yeah, I mean, like, just, I mean like, what do you remember about that whole scenario? Yeah. Uh, just that uh, they scored when they shouldn't have scored. That's 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 the basis, you know. Um, they had the game one, and you know. Uh, which one called the score, and we, at that point, we knew if Matt just had a chance, um, it'd be a good chance for us. When, when you look at, like, the, the last three games between the Falcons and Lions have been weird things have happened. Uh -huh. Can that be a manifest, a manifested thing? Like, mm -hmm. when, when it happens over and over and over again, where the two teams play each other? Yeah. Like, how, <laughs> it can be. I mean, sometimes, yeah, just certain, you know, even sometimes when you get just rival games, you know, just... The games just always sometimes have weird finishes. Um, when that time come, uh, you know, whatever way it finished, I hope I'm on the right side, and that's the winning side. <laughs> All right. Awesome. All good? All right. All right. No problem. Have a good one.